Neighboring India is set to begin vaccinating people against COVID-19 next month. A few vaccine candidates are likely to receive emergency approval from India's drug regulator within weeks. Two companies have already applied. India has a target of 300 million people to be immunized by early August. And for more on this, Niha Punya joins us from New Delhi. Niha, a massive challenge for India. What is the government's plan and what is the uh, foreseeable obstacles? That's right. It's a massive uh, and a very ambitious plan that the government is talking about. 300 million people who will get the vaccine by mid next year. But the government says it's ready to start vaccinating people as early as January. Uh, the first in line will be front ca- uh, front line and healthcare workers, as well as um, people like policemen and uh, other people who've been at the front lines of battling this pandemic. Uh, These will be 10 million people who will get the first jabs. And then, of course, this program will be scaled up. All of this dependent on emergency authorization coming through in the next two weeks. But once that does happen, setting all of this in motion uh, quickly will be the need of the hour. The government says it has about 29,000 cold storage facilities that will be utilized to ensure these vaccines can get to every part of the country. Day-long uh, vaccination programs will be run. Uh, there will be about 150,000 healthcare workers that will actually administer these shots to different people across the country. And about 100 to 200 people, the government says, will get the shot every single day. But there is vaccine hesitancy that's growing as well. A lot of people saying they're not sure about uh, the efficacy of the vaccines that are being considered. They're concerned about side effects. And some actually also believe they might already have immunity against COVID-19. So overcoming that will be a challenge. Niha, do we know which uh, vaccine candidates are in the running for approval? Well, the top two are um, AstraZeneca, which is the Oxford uh, candidate, which is being manufactured in bulk here by the Serum Institute of India. It's the world's largest vaccine maker, and they've already started manufacturing this vaccine, saying they can get about 100 million doses to the Indian government by January. The other is Bharat Biotech. It's the only indigenous candidate that's a front runner for now. And the government says both uh, uh, Serum Institute of India and Bharat Biotech can uh, jointly produce about 65 million doses a month. So that's what the government is banking on. But there's also Russia's Sputnik vaccine, which is now being trialed as well as produced in India. And we're being told that 300 million doses will be produced here. That's three times uh, the number that was initially expected. And Niha, could you just uh, get us up to speed with the current uh, COVID-19 situation in India? Well, things are looking up, Steve. We've seen numbers drop to the lowest uh, been in five months. For days now, India has reported less than 30,000 cases every single day. And experts say it looks like the situation is rapidly coming under control. The government maintains it hasn't slowed down testing. So experts uh, are suggesting it could be because... um, the, the virus has run through large sections of the population, which is why it's not spreading as rapidly as it was back in July when India had just one million cases. But in the next couple of days, we will see India's total COVID-19 tally cross the 10 million mark. There are concerns that uh, with the winter months of January and February, there could be another uh, big wave of infections. So for now, the government says it's not time to let our guard down and a vaccine really is the only hope for the future. Nehapunya in New Delhi. Thank you.